Winter's in full effect. Guy's getting cabin fever in the house. Just had to get out. So, lots of stuff I could do, but today I'm going to work on the old Bobcat. So, this here is a 1984 Bobcat 743. And when I moved out to the country, I just had to have one. And it comes in handy. Feller's got a long driveway here. And you bet, those garbage cans fit right in that there bucket. Bring them right on down. Makes it pretty easy. But, the guy's getting a little older, and his mind's slipping. So once in a while, about once a month, maybe twice, I'll come and fill her up, and I'll stick the cap back here, fill her up, and forget to put the cap back on. Next thing you know, what happens is uh, I'll bring you in and show you here. Set the cap up here. And this here hole, she vibrates down in there, falls between this protective cover and the radiator, and gets stuck in there like it is right now. Then you gotta find some long to fish in there. Or, which I'm probably going to have to do now, is take these bolts out and pull this cover off. So, I'm going to get that out and we're going to fix on it. So, today, to avoid that from happening, we're going to fix on it. We're going to get her to tie off somewhere here. Not sure how, but no more forgetting this. I think what I'm going to do is drill a hole in the cap here. Just tie a string onto it and snip it onto the cab there. So then I can take her off, it'll just hang there. But I'll probably end up painting this too. Probably something bright, so I remember that way too. I'm losing her. So I was originally going to tie it on there with some fishing line, but I just took a piece of stainless steel wire, put it in there, bent it, now it's got a little hook. Can just hook her on, fill up, hopefully remember to put it back on. Works for me. The next project on here is I want to add some hooks to the bucket here. And I picked these up and I just want to weld them on. It's nice to be able to hook a chain onto the bucket instead of having to go around the bucket or wrap something around the arms just to, to pull something or lift something uh, while using a chain. So this will make that a lot easier. I've got two of these. I've got to get this surface prepped, get the paint off. Uh, i got to cut this little hoop off here uh, so I can get maximizing my uh, contact to weld on here and it'll be flat. And then I'm going to weld it on very terribly, but it should hold. and warm really warm uh, get the welder and let's get them on let's get it tacked in here
do it for what I wanted to fix on here. Just give it a little cover up the spots I cleared off so it doesn't rust and good to go. Good as new.